السلام علیکم دس از شامہ تزارا اینڈ ٹوڈے مائی ٹاپک آف ڈسکشن از ایکیوٹ پیریکارڈائٹس سو ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ایکیوٹ پیریکارڈائٹس وین اے پیشنٹ آف ایکیوٹ پیریکارڈائٹس پریزنٹس ٹو یو دا مین کلینیکل پریزنٹیشن از دو چیسٹ پین ناؤ آئی ہیو میڈ دس ویڈیو بیسیکلی دا مین ڈسکشن ول بی دیٹ ہاؤ یو ول ڈفرینشیٹ دا چیسٹ پین آف اے پیشنٹ وتھ ایکیوٹ پیریکارڈائٹس فرام دا چیسٹ پین آف اے پیشنٹ وتھ مایوکارڈیل انفیکشن فائن دس از ویری امپارٹنٹ کلینیکل پوائنٹ آئی ریپیٹ اٹ از ویری 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 امپارٹنٹ کلینیکل پوائنٹ ٹو میمورائز اینڈ ٹو بی ایزیلی ہیو گرپ اوور اٹ سو اسٹارٹنگ وتھ ایکیوٹ پیریکارڈائٹس دا چیسٹ پین دیٹ پڈ اکر ان ایکیوٹ پیریکارڈائٹس کریکٹر آف بوتھ دا پینس از دیٹ ان ایکیوٹ پیریکارڈائٹس پین ول بی سویئر اینڈ پلورائٹک چیسٹ پین وائل ان مایوکارڈل انفیکشن اٹ ول بی سویئر بٹ ناٹ پلورائٹک ویری امپارٹنٹ ایکیوٹ پیریکارائٹس پین وٹ از دس پلورائٹک ورڈ مینس دیٹ اٹ ول بی ایسوسیٹیڈ وتھ بریتھنگ while the pain of myocardial infarction will not i repeat it will not be associated with breathing this is the first differentiating point between the pains of the two diseases moving on to the site of the pain as we know that of course second point which will come in our mind is that okay where the pain is happening in the patient where the pain is occurring in the patient so for remembering the site of pain in acute pericarditis patient i have made a mnemonic i hope it will help you out Imagine this is the body of the patient trunk and here is the neck somewhere if you imagine it this is the whole shoulder and this is the whole body of the patient fine so the pain will start just remember the word you can say opposite l this l word you can easily localize the pain pain will be retrosternal it will move and on the left precordial regions from where the pain will radiate above to the trapezius ridge and to the whole neck trapezius ridge imagine this is the whole trapezius ridge and this is the neck so it is the pattern of the pain i repeat pain is this l you can easily recall it through it if you like first is retrosternal or left precordial region now what is precordial region just a second retrosternal pain left precordial pain now what is this left precordial precordial means the area of the anterior chest present over the heart and left side is the left side of the area so this is left precordial region this is the trapezius ridge it will radiate to the trapezius ridge and to the neck now comparing the pain of myocardial infarction myocardial infarction chest pain if this is the again the body of the patient neck and these are the shoulders so it is substernal chest pain and it radiates to the left shoulder i'll write here left shoulder left arm because of the same dermatomes and main the pain is substernal and this is a pain which is crushing pain or a pain like sorry not crushing you can say that as if patient will say that a weight is present on my chest so this pain is like a weight present on the chest now a very important point of differentiation of pain between the two is the nature of the pain so in acute pericarditis pain listen carefully it is positional pain very important in diagnosis what is this positional pain mean that it will be different in different positions of the patient it will aggravate when the patient is laying down or when he is doing straining activities now i've just said this word straining activities just to recall that you can easily remember that this is positional pain when the patient is laying down or doing straining activities now you know what are the straining activities straining activities are like patient doing cough during deep inspiration sneezing etc so these are the condition which the pain is increased now the conditions when in which the pain is relieved is relieved by sitting 
or leaning forward fine while the pain of mi very 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 important point it is not i repeat not at all positional it is a constant pain that happens in every posture it is not posture dependent it is not positional pain the next point is that this pain that what is the you can say the periodicity of the pain or you can say continuity of the pain continuity will be a better word to explain it continuity of pain is that acute pericarditis pain it not happens all the time in all cases so it does not happens in all cases and the example of this point is that acute pericarditis pain it does not happen in patients with rheumatoid pericarditis fine now talking about the pain of myocardial infarction it happens all the time and in almost all cases of myocardial infarction pain is present so by these four points you can easily differentiate or find out that what kind of pain it is means that if the pain is due to acute pericarditis or a pain due to myocardial infarction a brief overview a summary of the whole discussion acute pericarditis pain is severe pleuritic associated with breathing myocardial infarction pain not associated with breathing site of acute pericarditis pain is retrosternal or left precordial regions radiate to trapezial ridge and to the neck in mi pain is substernal and it radiates to left shoulder and left arm nature of pain it is positional pain very important point it is positional pain i even highlighted that this is a very important point acute pericarditis pain is positional pain while myocardial infarction is not positional pain it is in, it increases in certain conditions decreases in certain conditions and the continuity of pain is that acute pericarditis pain it doesn't happen in all the cases it is not present in rheumatoid pericarditis and mi pain it, it almost occurs in all of the patients so thank you very much i hope you like the video i hope it will help you out in remembering and easy recall of this whole topic please share your feedback in the comment section at the end i would like to thank my worthy teachers who literally helped me a lot supported me a lot and because of them i have this passion to help my fellows and to make medicine easy interesting and understandable dr ahmed dr mubeen thank you so much allah hafiz next you in the next video